you can really see the sweat right now. <laughs> okay, while I'm at a red light, look how sweaty I am. That's how hot it is in North Carolina right now. Anyway, so I am currently on my way to Atlanta. Um, going to see my best friends because they bought a house. And we're going to have a really fun weekend, so I'm really excited. Except I absolutely loathe driving to Atlanta. It is poss quite possibly the worst traffic in the world. Okay, I've never been to LA, so that's probably worse. But it's awful. It is absolutely horrendous. And it's currently like 4.15 and I'm going to hit it all. But I'm going to go get a coffee and a snack and hopefully not have to stop along the way. I am not one of those people who enjoys taking bathroom breaks or stopping along a road trip. Well, I guess it depends on where I'm going. But like, it's, it's so frustrating for me. I'm like, I just want to get in the car and get there. I guess I take that back. I don't like, this car is about to wreck in front of me. I don't like stopping by myself. If I'm with someone else, it's kind of fun. I just don't like getting out of the car. But I can't tell if I'm hungry or not. I really don't even want coffee because I have a headache, but I'm going to get it anyway to try to make this drive better. And then I'm going to listen to some Crime Junkie podcast, even though I've already listened to all of them, so I don't know. I'll just listen to all the ones that I've already forgot about. I was just filming that whole time with the air up completely, wasn't I? I'm trying to dab off um, everything on my face, but... I'm about to pass where the casino in Kings Mountain's going. Litty titty, baby! Also, some girl commented on, I don't know if she meant it as a, like, a backhanded comment or if she was just like genuinely saying this. I kind of think it was the first one. But she commented, I'm so glad I'm not the only one with armpit fat. And I was like, fuck! <laughs> I was like, damn, girl! You're hitting low below the belt! It's kind of empowering and really makes me self-conscious at the same time some of the things people on TikTok are saying. Like people are commenting about my teeth, which I'm getting fixed. I just got off the phone um, about a consultation for Invisalign to fix my open bite, which physically there are no issues with it. Like I don't have a lisp, even though one girl last night tried to tell me I had a lisp on TikTok. I'm like, honey, I've been listening to myself talk for two. I'm so disgusting looking. I was like, honey, I've been listening to myself talk for two decades and I've never heard it, so <laughs> kiss my ass. Um, but I do have a little bit of an open bite, but I can't bite anything with my front teeth. So when people used to like, or when people tear stuff with their front teeth or use it to open packages, I was always like baffled because like my teeth can't grip anything. But um, yeah, I'm getting Invisalign. So hopefully I don't look funky. I'm trying to think of everything people have shit on me for. I think it's just my teeth and my armpit fat so far. People have called me basic, but I mean, if you really take a look at any human, they're gonna be basic in some way or another. We all damn breathe. Is that basic? Currently in line at Starbucks. Um, I said I wasn't gonna wear makeup today and I texted my best friend. I was like, we're not going anywhere. I'm not wearing makeup, are we? And then I sat down because I knew I was at least gonna put like concealer and a little bronzer on. And then I just put bronzer on my eyelids and then popped on eyelashes and here we are. You can kind of tell because the concealer is starting to rub off on like these little red spots I have. Also tried my hand at fake freckles. Don't look at this. Anyway, Starbucks, I got a venti ice blonde latte, two pumps of classic, and vanilla sweet cream cold foam. My life was changed when I tried vanilla sweet cream cold foam for the first time, to be honest. Um, it tastes like melted ice cream, straight up. I got the goods. Oh, it's amazing. Oh my god, I thought a policeman was behind me, but it's just a Camaro with very obnoxious blinkers. But I like... Oh my god, why do people do that? Like, why do you feel the need? That just scared me. What I've been trying to say this entire time, until Mr. Small PP had to rev his engine, um... I enjoy long car drives by myself because I know that that means I'm getting coffee. Even if I don't want coffee, I'm going to go get it because it makes it more enjoyable. And it also means I get to listen to podcasts, which if you hate long car drives, you have to find a podcast you like and then done. 
especially like true crime podcast. Oh my gosh, last time, not last time, the first time I ever drove to Atlanta is when I discovered Up and Vanished. And they're like maybe 45 minutes long. So I got through the entire story of what he was trying to tell because it's a series. Oh my gosh, it was incredible. So now I'm kind of upset that I don't have that. But I'm too. Do y'all hear the. I had to stop this to make sure you could hear me over the South Carolina roads that are jiggling my car as we speak. Um, but yeah, you have to find a podcast you like. I'm about to listen to the Crime Junkie podcast. Um, even though, like I said earlier, I'll probably listen to all of them already. And I'm going to listen to the goriest ones again. So what does that say about me? once I got to Atlanta because I ordered food and I just wanted to spend some time with Amanda Poo. So basically all I did was sit and make TikToks with Amanda and then we had coffee the next morning and went to Pilates. Here's us pulling up. This was by far, also this clip's blurry, I don't know why, but this was the hardest thing I've ever done. So we went to Pilates, I made a fool of myself. Um, this is pre me making a fool of myself, I didn't know yet. And then after we walked in, we went to Tower, which is apparently like the biggest liquor store in Atlanta or something like that. I'm not sure. And then here's me dying after Pilates. Okay, so we did Pilates this morning. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. I just broke Amanda's car again. And now we just made an alcohol run at 10 o'clock in the morning. But anywho, that Pilates class was so hard. Now we're gonna go get coffee, go to Trader Joe's and go get lunch. So here we are pulling up to the coffee shop. It was pretty good actually. Um, it was just kind of like this weird market coffee crossover. I got an iced vanilla latte who was surprised. Amanda got a cold brew. She absolutely hated it. Um, and then I'm just going to show you this gloomy view of Atlanta skyline. It is so much bigger than Charlotte's. It's actually wild to me. Um, because it never like it never crossed my mind how much bigger Atlanta was in Charlotte but then we had a little while before we needed to go eat lunch or pick up lunch so we went around shopping and anthropology and then we went to this really cool place called Upbeat it's kind of like chopped if y'all have ever had that but it was really good um I don't know why I'm showing so much of my feet but here we are I got this like Brussels sprout chickpea sweet potato bowl it was incredible uh, with falafel. Oh my god, I forgot about the falafel. I so wish I could go back and eat that again. And then I posted this video, so go watch that if you haven't. And then <laughs> this clip of Amanda kills me. Uh, we were making homemade margaritas and we couldn't fit all the lime juice and mix and everything. So it was actually really funny. And we had to roll like a hundred limes and lemons and my arms were so sore from it. But it was definitely worth it. Um, and then I had two later that night and got really bad acid reflux. Which I did not expect to happen at 24, but it did. So here we are but they were really good it was a lot of effort but it was completely worth it for the housewarming party i haven't talked much y'all it's been a busy day okay this lighting is bad but um you're getting ready for the party and we're about to go do the charcuterie board which i'm really excited about so i need to hurry because i'm running late as always okay this is the last voiceover i promise but i was so distracted here is the charcuterie board that i ended up making i am more than proud of them i feel like a birth to child and this was the entire spread it was so good 
But we were also anxious about the party that we barely ate, um, except that goat cheese log. I ate the entire thing. It was really good. And then we went to brunch the next morning, and I had three Bloody Marys in the course of like 25 minutes. So it was a fun time. And then we ended up going to a bar later that day, but this is Sunday. We were walking to the farmer's market, and it was so nice. It was right by her house. So there was this little cold brew stand. There was like three of them. There was a bunch of fresh fruit and veggie stands, a little crepe area. It was just really nice. I would love to have this outside of my house. I got some bread for my mom. And yeah, it was so damn hot though. And then here is me leaving Atlanta. Sad, very sad. It was such a fun time. I've probably never looked more like death, so don't mention it. I have a zit on my face and I'm covering it, so ignore it. I am so sorry I didn't film that much. We just had such a good time. This is so stupid looking. We had such a good time. I just didn't think to pick up my phone and film. I have never been so tired in my life, I swear. Like, I'm not hungover. I barely drank. Me and Amanda just both slept in so late and we were so tired. We went to the farmer's market for like 10 minutes and we were like, okay. And now I'm driving, so I'm stopping to get coffee. My eyes are like so pu or puffy, I'm so tired. Right. I'm gonna order, this might be the last you see of me before I die in my bed later. Mm -hmm.